Welcome to Mount Mary, population 36. The tiny South Australian town on the Teerley Highway was once home to a busy railway line until the last train ran along its tracks in 1969. Years ago it was, it was a thriving town. My um, father's father and grandfather used to, they used to bring the timber in and used to have a sawmill here and then that's where the train would load up their wood and it was, it was just huge, it was, every, there was people everywhere. The town went into a quiet period for decades, but locals like Karen and her daughter Tanil are putting the people power back into Mount Mary to revive the community spirit. Together with a group of local volunteers, they've opened an op shop, creating new opportunities for people in the region and the town's old hall, which is being restored to its former glory. I don't know what this thing is. And I'm hoping that we can like put a playground out and then bring people in and just, to, and everyone's loving it. People are saying, how gorgeous is this to be open again and having this. And it just means a lot to bring people into the town as well because a lot of people don't realise Mount Mary's here. The town's local watering hole, now almost 130 years old, is also part of the recent revival after receiving renovations during the COVID-19 pandemic. Owner and publican Donna Manders says a brain tumour diagnosis prompted her and her family to make the move to the tiny town from big city life in Melbourne. We were looking for somewhere that was relaxed and off the beaten path and I sat out the front of my Land Cruiser one day and this place just called my name. Described by locals as a special meeting place, the town draws in visitors of all kinds, including feline. When the hotel's chef, Samuel Bill, was invited by Donna and her family to move into state to a town he'd never heard of, he was pleasantly surprised by the reception he received. Myself and Shane, Donna's husband, we didn't get here until about two o'clock in the morning and a couple of the locals had actually decided to hang back for a little while just so they could introduce themselves to me before they went home and I just thought that was great, you know, I walked in expecting to see no one, middle of nowhere and there was probably 10 to 15 people, they're all just waiting to introduce themselves so I fell in love with the place straight away. When it comes to rural, I am all for rural. So we bought houses in Mount Mary and we've actually rented them out to families. Um, it was a real strategic plan because we want to bring people back to the outback. We want to bring infrastructure back to our town. We want to see people coming in here and enjoying this amazing little place. I like the one I had down there that the kids I had and the kids smashed the glass. And the work of volunteers like Karen and Tanil is keeping the country spirit alive. Infrastructure and all of that is dwining from these rural communities. This town got together and put an op shop back in. They had that hall fixed. This town got together and put a town tower in. You know, infrastructure is extremely important. Put it outside during the day and bring it in at night time or something. I would like to get see if we can get another grant and build a big shed next to here because there's nothing out there. Put the brick breaker and just be able to put the clothes away at night time so then we can actually use the hall for functions and that would be the goal. With big plans for the future, for the residents of Mount Mary, there's no place like home. Even though it hasn't got anything, no water or city life, but it's just nice to be here and it's quiet and yeah, it's a good place. It's home. It's home. <laughs>